you know, how's Brooke and, and uh, you know, a little update on her and also, you know, how the team's handling it. She's doing fine. She uh, came out of surgery good. You know, it could be two, three, four weeks. You know, we don't know. It's just not a timetable on it right now. But there's a possibility she could be back. But, I, you know, I'm not putting a timetable on it. How tough is it for, for Darius to come in and she hasn't gotten a lot of Well, it's tough. you got to give her a lot of credit. You know what? You know, I approached her on three different yeah. to make sure that's what she wanted to do, and she did. Because she's a total team player. And she knows, you know, we do two point boards going in down the stretch of the season. And uh, you got to give Darius a lot of credit. I, I really do. And she's a great young lady. And, uh, you know, I, I, I think she'll do this fine. So you, you basically essentially asked her. Yeah, absolutely. I would not, you know, I, on, on two or three different occasions, you know, she was all for it. And, uh, you know, I just felt that uh, that was the best thing for the, you know, overall, you know, we need two point guards going into it. It's hard to play with one point guard, and I really didn't want to change up our other guards. We've had some good comeback victories at Oklahoma State, Texas, but down 14 with about 15 minutes to go the other night. Did you think that one might have been a little bit too much to ask I tell you what, I tell you what, uh, th this team now, I, even on timeouts and that, you know, I'm a little upset, but, you know, I hear them telling each other, that's fine, we can come back and take one possession at a time. So, you know, that it, does it surprise me? No, because I, I've seen this team do it time after time again. But you know what, we need to quit doing it because it's going to catch up to you. You just can't continue to do that and, and expect to win at the end. So, you know, we got to put forth, you know, uh, a 40-minute effort. And, and, not when we get the time and start playing hard. First meeting with TCU, there two, there two starting guards did most of the damage on you. Um, yeah. How do you guard against them differently? This they're very good. I mean, they're very good. We play man-to-man. -man. They set a lot of on-ball picks for them, and, and, and they read the picks very well. I mean, if you go under, they shoot it. If you go over, they penetrate and kick. I mean, they're, they're very good basketball players, and TCU is a very good basketball team. You got another good team coming in uh, with Oklahoma State next Wednesday, but for your last six at home, uh, do you feel like you kind of turned the corner on your schedule a little bit? Well, it's, you know, if you look at the schedule, it's always nice to have four out of your last six games at home. Uh, but, you know, they're all tough games. I mean, you know, you look at TCU's record, uh, you know, they're, they're on the border of getting in the NCAAs with two or three big wins. So, you know, none of these games are going to be easy whether you have them at home or what. So you said you didn't want to change up your guard rotation very much. So does that mean maybe you're going to extend uh, Stephanie's minutes a little bit? Well, well, we'll see. You know, Darius, I, I expect her to play. You know, I didn't take her off uh, red shirt not to play. I mean, uh, that would be kind of crazy on my part. Right. But, uh, you know, it, it, it was a tough decision, but I, you know, the decision I made, I got to live with. And uh, you know, if I've taken her off red shirt, then she needs to play. Guys were trailing TCU in the oh, game, and they went on a, on a, on a big run. So under four minutes, I mean, that's our run. I mean, it just, you know, I, like I said earlier, you know, you know, it's great you can do that and win at the end of the games and execute at the end of the games. But you know, sometimes, you know, you can do that too much, and, and we need to quit doing that <laughs> for several reasons: for my health, and and, and it's going to catch up to us. <laughs> yeah, be nice to. Uh, to execute real well in the first half and sort of absolutely. issue away. Yeah, absolutely. But TCU is a very good basketball team. A lot of people don't know about them, but I'm telling you what, they're, they're very good. Their guards are very good. They have a shot blocker in the middle. And uh, this is going to be a great game. No doubt. And how's the team reacting to uh, Brooke? I mean, is it, of good. course, they're disappointed, good. but... Hey, this is the next, next man up, right? Yeah, exactly right. And our team is, uh, you know, this team's went through injuries. You know, Asia being out all year last year. I mean, it's not like uh, 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 Jess Harley for her ACL. Uh, you know, it's not like we haven't had injuries. This, this team always uh, you know, steps up.